Dear viewers, thank you for your interest in our concepts for repurposing the gas and coal power plants. I am Miroslav, Managing Director of Solenko, and I am pleased to introduce to you Solenko concepts for energy transformation within the cold phase out. In this part one, we will talk about political will, financial support, economic situation, and about the market potential. Let's get started. As it is publicly already known, the political will is given, and it is not only in the European Union, but in many other countries, including China and India, as well as the United States of America. The European Union has the most advanced capacity of political and administrative instruments to achieve energy transformation and the ambition securing electricity requirements from renewables. Thus, we will concentrate in our presentations on the European Union market. However, the Solingas concept can be applied also in other countries outside the European Union. Among the European political documents, we can mention basic documents, which are the Kyoto Protocol and Paris Agreement. The scale for the called fired Power plants decommissioning is generally defined by the European Green Deal that has recognized that further decarbonization of the energy system is critical to reach climate objective by 2030 and 2050. I would like to mention here that many administrative instruments are applied, like the EU emission trading system carbon taxes, carbon energy taxes, as well as the taxes of process emissions such as nitrous oxide. And finally, in each EU member state, the coal exit law shall set out the roadmap for shutting down countries' remaining coal power capacity, clearly distinguishing between the pathways from lignite and hard coal. And now, briefly, some key information about the countries the, with the large number of cold powered plants. China is the party to the nation, to the United Nations Framework Convention, Climate Change, the Paris Agreement, and the Kyoto Protocol. China established the Nation Climate Change Program, and China's special scientific action plan for climate change, etc. China is on the way to reduce CO2 emissions, including retrofitting the coal and gas-fired plants. India is a non-annex one country under the Kyoto Protocol and thus has no binding target for emissions reduction. However, India is an active participant in the Clean Development Mechanism established by the, by the Protocol, rather than in the integrative binding legislation. India is developing a policy process to specifically address climate change. India adopted a national action plan of climate change in 2008, outlining existing and future policies and programs directed at climate change mitigation and adaptation. Or another important document is the Nation Clean Air Program that was launched in 2019. India also established a tariff policy already in 2006, which allowed the penetration of renewables in the grids. And now the renewables have the economic edge in India, offering far cheaper electricity, the D1, gas and coal fire plant. Coronavirus crisis has brought the long brewing financial troubles in the India coal sector and the India government is to relieve a package of several billion dollars. The climate change policy of the United States has a major impact on the global climate change because the United States is the second largest emitter of greenhouse gases in the world after China. The United States is a signatory of the Kyoto Protocol and since January 
2021, USA considered again the price agreement. After the election in the United States in 2020, climate change has become the priority and many documents have been introduced, like Green New Deal, market-based climate measures, for example carbon taxes and clean energy standards, etc. It is very important to mention here that across the country, regional organizations, states and cities are achieving real emissions reductions and gaining valuable policy experience as they take action on climate change. These actions include increasing renewable energy generation. Financial support. Now, get back to European Union. You and some of the EU states' governments have already prepared funding for coal phase-out. For example, the German government has decided to provide the following. 4.5 billion euro compensation to the owners of coal-fired plants. 14 billion euro to economic transition aid to the affected states. And 26 billion euro for final measures support the affected states. European funds. Let me mention here some of the EU funding programs. Innovation Fund, Modernization Fund, Just Transition Fund, European Social Fund, Cohesion Fund, Horizon Europe, Funding for Climate Action, Life Programme, Connecting European Facility. Economic situation. The uneconomic capacity within the grid, including all coal power plants and also new high efficiency gas power, power plants, can be demonstrated from the financial perspective, in particular in the performance of European energy utilities sector. Let me mention here that the sector's market capitalization peaked in 2007. The following tables show. The financial performance of these 14 major European utilities. The source of this table, GFC, reported a decline in the market capitalization of between minus 20.9% Petrola and minus 86.8% RWE. In comparison, uh, the peak year 2007 with the year 2015. Also, it is interesting to take a look at the percentage change in market capitalization by EDF and by EON. The energy sector has never truly recovered from the loss and has continued to decline over the subsequent years up to today. McKinsey's study for investors shows the energy sector on the bottom of the table as unprofitable business. The profit is shown in the tables for the time between 2015 and 2018 in the sector in the second chart uh, for 2020 in comparison to the year 2018. The economic shock set off by the pandemic has accelerated and intensified the trends that were already underway. Economic situation in the energy sector greatly favors the transformation process. And furthermore, it opens a unique opportunity to unlock big strategic moves. Solingo team is aiming to support utilities and owners of conventional power plants in such moves by preparing appropriate concepts that may play an important role for the utilities in the near future. Market potential. Hundreds of coal power plants are now retired or facing retirement in the near future. And utilities face a number of decisions. They are asking themselves, are there commercial use options for the plant or the site itself? Are there unforeseen environmental issues? 
Could the plant site be mothballed for future restore or retrofit to burn a nature gas? Actually, the main question is, what is the right concept for us? As we can see in the slide, the global coal plant tracker shows us how many coal power plants have Europe. For example, in the coal uh, power triangle, Germany, Poland and the Czech Republic, we have nearly 600 units. But also in Spain and other European countries, we have considerable number of coal fire units that shall be decommissioned and opens a great potential for reuse. Solenco has recognized this market opportunity and offers its consultancy services that will be introduced in the upcoming presentations for repurposing coal and gas power plants. But please keep in mind, each retirement and decommissioning of the gas or coal power fire power plants will have unique variables. The process of retirement planning for such units must be done holistically within the context of an overall resource plan, but certain principles will always apply, and each utility shall prepare themselves for the transformation by analyzing what may be needed to succeed in the future. Well, the market potential is even greater in the global perspective. In the slide, we can see the coal power status that is tracking 13,179 coal-fired units. And also we can see the statistic of utilities plans with their assets. Let us sum up what we have learned in this part one. Utilities and other owners have the political will, considerable financial support and even more economical situation of conventional power generation favors those who takes this opportunity within this transformation. Utilities, they cannot sell their asset, have to prepare their asset for decommissioning, remediation and redevelopment, at least to the brownfield condition. Consequently, for that, what was discussed till now, the market potential is quite huge, in particular for emerging technologies, digitalization and creation for new energy market. I think you will agree with me that in the EU energy transition strategy are no doubts that those who will not take this opportunity will be left behind. We would be pleased if you continue watching other parts of our presentations, introducing our unique concepts. You are welcome to watch them at Solenka YouTube channel. If you are interested in our services, please contact us for initiating further steps. Thank you for watching.